It's Friday. Hey, Google, turn that off before they copyright me. Turn it off, Google. It still ain't listening. Don't just turn Aaliyah down. Turn her off, Google. Thank you. What's up, y'all? It is Jay Shanice. It is Friday night, so I am going to do a chit-chat. I have not done a chit-chat in so long. What is wrong with me, okay? What is wrong with me? Why am I not on my chit-chat game? You know, I know you guys like the reality shows, but sometimes I have commitment issues, and I just can't do them. I'll be like, I do not want to watch this for hours and hours and talk about it. Yeah, sometimes it'd be entertaining, but y'all really played me on that perfect match. But you know what? That's okay. Players up too. That's okay. I got my Stella Rose in my plastic cup. Okay. Do it look like glass? I would have said glass, but that's just lying. It's plastic. Apple. Stella Rose apple. That is my favorite. This going to put me to sleep. Okay. It's either this or Benadryl because sometimes I be having problems sleeping. Like I can sleep for a little bit and then I'm up or I can sleep all night. It just depends on the night. You know what I mean? I, either I'm up, I go to sleep hella early, then I'm up at 3 o'clock just looking stupid, trying to find something on HBO Max. You know what I mean? So this will uh, put me right to sleep later on, okay? Let's get into these questions. I appreciate all five of y'all that comment when I said, what do y'all want me to talk about? What do y'all want to talk about? So I'm going to try to go in order of these comments that people said. So the first one says, can you do a topic on dating yourself before dating because I need to hear that. Listen, who child dating yourself? I be dating myself. Let me tell you something. I went to go see Ant-Man. I was in the movie theater by myself. There was nobody in the big ass movie theater. Nobody in there. I go to buy my ticket. He like, where do you want to sit? I said, who else is in there? He said, it's just you. You ain't got to pick a seat. I mean, what the fuck? It was kind of scary, but listen, you can date yourself you can date somebody. You can fuck somebody for all I care. Just live your life. How you date yourself. You want to go to the movies? Go to the movies, okay? You ain't got to go on opening night. Well, you can go on opening night. Like, I like to go on a Thursday, especially if it's not like a Marvel movie. A Marvel movie, I wait a couple of weeks. But you can go on an opening night on Thursday night because most movies that you really want to see open up on Thursday night, okay? Go. You ain't going to be the only person in there by yourself. I promise you that there's going to be other people in the movie theater watching it by themselves, just like you. Cause you know what? I hate waiting on friends or girl, do you want to go see this movie or la, 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 or trying to finesse some dude to take you to go see a movie. Cause I love to finesse and, and to take me to a movie, but you can take your damn self, eat your nachos. You ain't got to worry about somebody talking during the movie, just bothering you. You can be eating your nachos, your now laters, because I like to go to the Dollar General before I go to the movies. I put my bottle of water in there and the candy I want, because you know I got to have my now laters. So I like to do that. I like to go out to eat by myself. I love to go to this bar down the street. They have like the best burgers. I'll go get me burgers and a fry and a liquid marijuana. I'm not playing with y'all. I will literally go out to eat by myself. Sometimes if the girls is getting on my nerves, I will go to Target, get me a pink drink and walk around and not buy sh but that pink drink. Okay. I enjoy alone time. Like I'm just one of those people. I thrive in being alone. Like I start going ticky, ticky, boom, boom when I cannot have my alone time. So dating yourself is really doing stuff that you enjoy. I have even went to the Hyatt, baby. I said, put me on the highest floor you can put me on. Okay. In the regular rooms. Okay. In the regular rooms. And, um, let me look at the Arkansas, uh, river. And I, psh, listen, I went to the Hyatt. I had me a room to myself. No man came up there and gave me no ding ling 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 Okay. I had the jacuzzi to myself, the swimming pool to myself. And after I went swimming and went to the jacuzzi, I got, I got dressed. I went downstairs, had me a drink and some food by myself. Then I went back upstairs and you know what? The gods blessed me because love and basketball was on. And I went to sleep, y'all. I went to sleep. Do whatever you enjoy. Don't worry about what people think. Just do it. 
that's the best way to date yourself, but you ain't going to always have it figured out. Don't let these YouTube, Instagram, TikTok girls that are only in their 20s, ain't been through in life, tell you what to do and how to do it, okay? Because I don't trust nobody that ain't been through nothing in life. Girl, you can't tell me what have you been through that you're this self-love goddamn queen. You tell me about self-love after you had a few kids, after you done had a heartbreak, after you done fucking been homeless, after you done had a car repo, after you done lost a job, okay? You done lost a family member, okay? Tell me about self-love after you've been through some shit. I'm 36 and still figuring out how to do self-love, okay? But those are a few of the things I like to do by myself, okay? I love a good movie by myself. You know, you have to remember that you came in this world by yourself. Sometimes you're not going to have friends. Sometimes you're not going to have family. But baby, dating yourself is so nice. <laughs> you ain't got nobody begging you for no cookie. My ex used to love me. Can I have cookie? Can I have cookie? Can I have? I hate the word cookie now. Like, no, you can't have no goddamn cookie. It's mine. You know, sometimes it's just peaceful. It's just peaceful. Okay. A heifer love to do stuff by herself. Oh, Listen, you catch me at the movies, don't bother me unless you're going to be my quiet partner and then you can sit next to me and we can share them now later as I snuck into the movies, okay? Shoot, my girls know. My daughters know. They're like, Mama, is you going to the movies by yourself? Yes, I didn't want to take y'all, but I guess y'all could go. I took them to see Black Panther. I was being nice because I was going to go by myself. And I was like, oh, I guess y'all can go. <laughs> Even though, what, what for? I like to go by myself. Listen, I take my girls to the movies sometimes, y'all, but I really do. Like, that's my favorite date to go by myself. I just seen Creed. Baby, I was less than my homegirl text me. She's like, who you at the movies with? I said, Michael B. Jordan and Jonathan Majors. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to eat annihilators. See, I'm addicted. I went to the Dollar General today just to get some annihilators. Anyways. And she was like, girl, I know that's right. I was up in there lusting, lusting. I love me some Jonathan Majors more than Michael B. Jordan, okay? Who? But anyways, I don't even think I answered your question. Just date yourself, baby. Do whatever you want to do. Like I said, go to the movies by yourself. If you want to go during the day when you got a day off and you want to go to the first movie, go. Ain't, nothing go. Ain't nobody going to be in there but some old people trying to see the movie by themselves too because they know the secret to life. Go to the movies by yourself. Go to the bar during the day. Like, if you know a bar that got some good chicken wings or burgers. She, matter of fact, you can go to a restaurant if you want to. I have been to restaurants by myself in the evening. If you want to go at night, get all sexy, then go. But until you feel comfortable, then go by yourself during the day. I will go to a breakfast spot, sit at the bar area, have me a mimosa and some breakfast. I don't care if I want to do it. I'm going to do it. So my tip is just start small. So maybe go to the movies. It's dark in there. So nobody will see that you by yourself. Go, go date yourself. Whatever you want to do for yourself that you would ask a date to do for you, do for yourself, period. Okay, baby. That's how you start. That, that's how you start. <laughs> okay. Next is, let's go to the next question. Okay. I spent eight minutes on that. Oh, this is going to be a long video. Y'all know I love to talk. Let's get into it. How do you like being a YouTuber? I guess what was your journey in the monetization part? I mean, I'm asking you to share how much you make. Oh, I mean, I'm not asking you to share how much you make, but I'm also, I'm always curious about the backing as I'm starting out with my traveling vlogs. Did I get that out? Because you know I'll be having trouble reading out loud. I used to hate reading out loud when I was a kid. But anyways, okay. How do I like being a YouTuber? I do like being a YouTuber. I hope this year, in year 23, that I can make YouTube my full-time job. Because I'm still working part-time. But I really do enjoy creating. I do like being a YouTuber. It's fun. So I had been a YouTuber. I can't even tell you guys. Okay, so I started off because I was like, I want to do a family vlog with me and my girls. But like they say, it's hard to do vlogs when nobody knows you, right? So nobody's interested in like your life, your kids, or just whatever, you, right? 
Listen, I'm doing a show tonight and I'm going to show you what we do. I'm at a local gay bar, so it should be definitely fun. I'm doing 10 minutes and I'm just going to show you what us new comedians go through because we all don't start off like Kevin Hart because Kevin Hart did not start off like Kevin Hart. So I'm going to show you what we do. Oh, we started. Oh, she said she didn't want to be on camera. Look at me being a hater. I told actually, her. Actually, I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> she thinks she's sexy. Oh Mia sat on the cake. Look what happened. And she had never been in my spot. I no, you I ate the look of the cake. Yeah. Oh my it's God. It's half of our fault, too. I it is it. half of both of y'all fault, yes. No, it's not. Yeah, I can't been... set it in my seat if I'm you sitting down. You just got out the car with I the and then put it back. Mm. But me, there's a whole nother door. I slid. <laughs> Happy birthday, Eva. <laughs> okay. Oh. Mama, eat it. Mama, eat it. Eat it. <laughs> eat it. No, put it in her mouth. No, Mama, you got to eat it. Airplane. Airplane mode. Mama, you got to eat it. <laughs> okay, don't be peer pressuring me. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, I realized I do like TV. I really, really like TV, but some of my homegirls do not watch the same shows as me, okay? So, what happened is I started watching Handmaid's Tale. Well, I was already watching it. But I decided I'm going to do reviews on Handmaid's Tale. And that's where my numbers started going up. And I started, okay, I'm getting some views. What sucks is when you're not at 1,000 subscribers, right? You're not getting paid. So I think I had a video hit like maybe 10,000 views. I didn't get paid for none of that. And I didn't even gain 1,000 subscribers, okay? So after Handmaid's Tale was over, I was sitting at a standstill. I'm telling you, um, I had got COVID before it was called COVID and I watched um, Love Island and I was like, man, I really, this is really entertaining. I really like it. But of course, none of my friends watched it. So I, it was just something bothering me. Right. And I was like, I want to review Love Island. So I decided I'm going to do Love Island because they had Love Island's USA. It was the second season because I didn't, I didn't watch the first season. It was the second season. So I was like, I'm going to review it. USA and America. Okay. Whatever you want to call it, USA or America. We just got done watching it. Love Islands is a season two for America, USA, whatever. Y'all, my numbers went up. When I tell you, sometimes you got to trust that gut feeling that's just knocking you, knocking you like, do it, do it, do it. Right. And you're like, no, maybe I shouldn't do it. Do it. Because that's your gut, your instinct telling you. Okay? So, I have some pictures and some numbers that I'm going to give you. So, this was August 6, 2020. I had 453 subscribers. Then this was August 10th. Uh, did I say that was August 6th? So, August 10th, I went to 459. August 20th, 483. Then by August 27th, I had hit 500 subscribers. By August 28th, I had 30,000 views. By September the 11th, I had um, 900 subscribers, okay? Rest in peace to everybody, 9-11, okay? Mm. I had 900 subscribers. Then September the 12th, I was 999, okay? And then this was September 16th. I had 1,300 subscribers, but I hadn't got my watch hours because you have to get 4,000 watch hours, right? So I had the subscriber count, but my watch hours was only at 3,277 September the 16th. <clears throat> September the 17th, I was at 1,360 subscribers still 3,779. Then September the 18th, I got, hey, now you can be in the Google partnership. So I had, I don't know what year I did Handmaid's Tale. It could have been like 19, but year 2020 is when my channel got monetized and all that. 
So really, because they say sometimes you get your subscriber number before you get the watch hours because the watch hours is the hardest thing because you really need to make videos that's long enough to be getting those watch hours to get to the monetization. So then I started making money on those Love Islands videos. But you got to think of all the views I had got and didn't make no money. Okay, you know this is a passion. YouTube is not for the weak, right? YouTube is a passion project, okay? Like you have to have some heart and some soul because YouTube is not for the weak. If you really want to do YouTube, you have to stick it out. If you quit, you'll never get there. And I'm telling you, y'all, I feel like quitting every time. Every time. I just put up a video, The Strays. It only got like 200 views, which I respect everybody that watched it, everybody that gave me great compliments on it. But literally, sometimes that can discourage you because my last video got like 3,000 views, but this one only has 200. But you got to keep going. There, You just got to keep building. It will come because maybe off of that 200 views, maybe I got a new subscriber off of there. You get what I'm saying? So that's kind of my YouTube journey in a sense is I wanted to do vlogs, which I'm thinking about getting back into vlogs, not all the way, but like maybe one day a week doing like a 24 hour vlog, but maybe with you and you do travel, I don't know what you could do. You could do your vlogs, but I know it's hard, but I know it can be done. Even if people don't know you, it could be done, right? You could keep doing vlogs. Also, maybe some information on traveling and stuff like people love that stuff to talk about traveling, to talk about how you plan the trip, how you budget it for your trip, all that stuff. But I would tell you, girl, keep going. Don't stop. Even when you feel like the only people that's watching you is your friends and your mama and them and your cousins. That's fine because people will find you eventually as long as you keep it up. YouTube is not a sprint. It's a goddamn marathon, okay? And every day I'll be like, I'm quitting. I'm quitting. Then I go to work and be like, I'm quitting here and doing YouTube. And so what else? I, I like, so in July 11, 21, I had 3,000 subscribers. July 29, 21, I have 5,000. And then August 12th this year, I had 6,000. And now I'm at 8,000, almost 9,000, which they say once you get to a million views, you should be at 10,000 subscribers. I'm not there that yet, even though I'm at a million views, but they said you should most likely get 10,000 subscribers. So hopefully I do, but YouTube is just a journey. I love it. It's all over the place. I do compare myself sometimes. I got to quit doing that period. And don't let nobody discourage you because you know, the thing is I had, I had a friend. Okay. Tell me why you do YouTube. You sit there and talk to yourself. I could never sit there and talk to myself. And I was like, really? I don't feel like I'm talking to myself. I'm talking to my people. Okay. What are you talking about? That friend in turned around and made a YouTube channel doing the same thing I'm doing. So don't let people discourage you because they're scared, but then they're going to do the same thing you're doing. Okay. Seriously. And I was just like, really? I'm not hating. Do your thing. I was like, okay, whatever. Do I help that friend time to time? Yes, I do. I'm just, I'm really a nice person. I might come off a little bit and have a resting bitch face, but I'm really a nice person and really sweet, but people are going to hate. You know, ha, 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 you doing that stupid YouTube, ha, ha, ha. They gonna turn around and need your help, okay? Period. You gonna have people hating on you, discouraging you. You keep on going because guess what? They gonna wanna do it too because all them people that laughed at me like that, yeah, her little YouTube. I don't give a damn as long as I get a check every month, okay? Every month. It might be a little check. But it's a check to do a little something, something. Take myself on a date, okay? Treat myself for my little work I've been doing on YouTube. But don't let nobody discourage you, period. Because people can be haters. Even your own friends, even your own goddamn family can be haters. I'm telling you, you sit there and talk to yourself. And I was like, is she serious? And turned around and did the same thing I'm doing. Girl, bye. Really? We still friends. 
I'm toxic. Anyways, let me see. Uh, so this next one says, um, talk about how difficult it is to balance family YouTube and work or have other people. Oh, ba 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 da da da. That was just her saying some other stuff. How difficult it is to balance family YouTube and work. I mean, it's not difficult. My daughters are older. I have an 18-year-old that graduated in May of last year. And then I have a 14-year-old, and she's a ninth grader in high school. I mean, so they're older. It's they do their own thing. Like, I don't know. Like, my life is pretty simple, so it's not really hard. I can tell the girls, I'm filming. I'm filming. They be like, okay, mama girl, bye. And they go, they separate ways in their rooms, in the living room. Girl, it's not difficult at all. And work, work is work. I only work part-time. So, and I do hospice. I don't know if people know that, but if you don't know that, I'm a hospice aide. So, and don't ask why you ain't a nurse, because I don't want to be. God damn it. I like being an aide. I really do. I enjoy it. I like talking shit and doing my job. That's my favorite to do, okay? I actually enjoy being a hospice aide. I know it sounds weird because I know somebody had commented on my video like, you're pretty chipper to be a hospice aide. I'm not dying, ho. I'm good. And you know what? A lot of people in hospice do be in good spirits. I mean, what can you do? You know it's coming. So I really enjoy it. You go patient to patient, to nursing homes, to their houses, assistant living, independent living. I really enjoy hospice. So, I mean, what, am I supposed to be crying? Am I supposed to be sad? I'm not going to be. They don't want me coming in their house sad, like, oh, Miss So-and-So, you dying. Like, you know what? Everybody don't die on hospice. A few people graduate. A few people, we be like, you got to go. You ain't died in two years. You got to get off services. What? Why are you still here? Okay? So, work and life is good. And plus, my daughters are teenagers, and they really support me. Sometimes my oldest makes my thumbnails, and they really support me. They both believe in me. They're like, Mama, you can do this. You're going to be a YouTuber. Mama, you can do this. And I'm like, you right. So, it's it's so good to have my daughters, and they support me. And they're, they just be like, Mama, keep going, keep going. Even when I'm like, I'm about to give up, they be like, Mama, no. Keep going. You're almost there. So life with the girls is good. It's just me and them. Their dads are not around. I don't know if you know this because I do be reviewing love after lockup, life after lockup. Both my baby's dads are in prison. One got 100 years. One got 30 years. And no, neither one of them took anybody out the game. Okay? They just bad as hell. And I know y'all like, Jay Shanice, girl, what kind of man you be doing? That's, don't, uh -uh, don't hold that against me. I was 17. And then I was 21, okay? Don't hold that against me. I don't pick like that no more. I don't like them kind of dudes no more. I sure don't. Mm -hmm. I'll be like, that's too much. I do got a pen pal. Uh, okay, we email each other. We used to know each other before he got locked up. And he ain't getting out to he 50. Okay, listen, but that's a pen pal. Like, you know, just because he don't want, he ain't going to talk about his life. He ain't got nothing to go on. So then I can talk about myself, okay? But life is good. It's just me and my daughters. We live a simple life, you guys. Like, my rent is cheap, even though they just went up. But we just live in a simple apartment. We um, have two cars paid for, okay? I like to keep the bills low, low. And it's just us. Like, my oldest, she works. My little one, she braids hair. She just got into the Upper Bound program where it's like, helps them get in college and gets them prepared for college. So I'm just really proud of both my girls. And <clears throat> I just love them to death because I get to be me. I'm a cussing mama. I'm a keep it real mama. I'm a mama that be like, can you get out my face? Please. Can you get out my face? Okay. And they just love me for who I am and they understand me. So I thank God I couldn't ask for better kids because I'm just me and I can be me. And they're used to it. You know, like they're just like, that's mama. That's how she is. Not in a bad way, but I'm just a straight shooter. I don't really just try to sugarcoat stuff. And I'm just me. Like, I just feel like me and my kids fit together so 
perfectly. When they get to fighting each other and yelling at each other, y'all, I'll be like, I'm leaving. I'm going to Target. Y'all are not about to stress me out today, okay? But really, like, if you were around me and my kids, you would really enjoy it. We are so cool, so loving, so understanding. And I really let my kids do, like I always tell my girls, like, listen, don't hurt yourself and don't hurt nobody else, okay? I don't know what me and my oldest was watching. And I was like, do you feel like you want to take yourself out the game? She's like, what? No. I was like, you know what? Okay, I'm just checking in. I'm just checking in. I'm trying to be a woke mama, okay? Let me know what's going on. Anyways, but life is good. And I'm hoping that <clears throat> this year in 23, YouTube will become my full-time job and yeah, shoot. You know when Rihanna was saying her baby was fine? I didn't see nothing wrong with that. I've been hyping my kids up since they was itty bitty girls. Like, you's a bad one. You look good. You look cute. I don't have no problem telling my daughters, um, you look good today. You look cute for school today. Yes. Okay. I see you. Who else? Who else? You ain't never looked at your kid and been like, my kid look better than yours. Period. You might not say it out loud, but you might think it. You'd be like, me and they daddy did that. Me and they mama did that. Period. Who else gonna hype up your child? Somebody said in the comments, um, you're supposed to say a baby is cute and adorable. No, 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 ho. Your baby cute and adorable. Rihanna's baby is fine as hell. Okay? That's just period. She can say that about her child. That's her child. Like, literally, I always think my daughter is the most beautiful girls in the goddamn world. Ain't no ho touching them. They're fucking teens. Okay? Who else is gonna tell your child that they're all that in a bag of potato chips? Who else? If you don't do it, who gonna tell them? I'll wait. Who is going to tell your child that they is the sh Nobody else. Anyways, I went on a rant. Okay. 